This is the 1937 Model 127 Singer sewing machine. I just got her finished up. I've been working on it. I probably put about 35 hours in it. It looked like it hadn't been running maybe, I don't know, 20 years or so. It had quite a bit of, of dirt and dried up oil and and I went through and I cleaned it all up. I uh, oiled it all up. Got it running really smooth. I replaced the belt and the rubber bobbin tire and all the wiring. That's all brand new. The only thing I haven't done yet is uh, a light. I don't have a light for it yet. I'm going to have to order one. Now I put it in that plastic case because it needed to be in something. She's an old gal. She's 81 years old, so she needs her comfort, you know. I'll try to give you a little better look at it here. You can pretty much see how clean she is. She didn't have any rust at all on her. Just a little speck here and there. And I, this looks like rust. It's not. It's actually some kind of dried oil. I didn't quite get it all, but I got most of it. It's really overall, it's a clean machine. I mounted this block here. This is all brand new SP2 16 tube wire. As what came originally with it. These are all replacement plugs. These are the same type that came originally, but they're brand new. You can see how clean she is. She's she's a nice machine. That's not to say that she doesn't have her bumps and scrapes and chips and I mean you can tell she's been used. She's had a lot of sewing done on her and she's ready to do a lot more. She runs really good. The next thing I'm going to do is here is kind of show a little sewing test. I already uh, did a video on that once but it, I was holding the camera by hand and it just came out terrible so I'll probably do another video give you a little look on the back side and that's the back side of her I said you got new uh, new belt on this motor that's the actual original cloth wire and it was in really good shape so I just I put a coating of uh, shrink wrap on it just to protect it a little better otherwise it's all brand spanking new wiring I didn't see any reason to wire that because it was like I said it's in really good shape I have a few uh, pictures of before that I'll try to put in here too so you can get an idea of before and after I had this machine all apart. She's 
She looks pretty good for 1937, 81 years old. Let me show you how easy it is to thread this. Come through your top loop. I'm going to throw my glasses on so maybe I can see what I'm doing. Come through your top loop. Make sure your, your presser foot is up. Make sure you get in your discs through your spring and then through here. And we're looking good. Okay, in here, I just kind of clip that in like that. Then you have one here that just clips in like that. And then I, always the fun part for me is getting it through this needle. And then you're through your needle. And it's that simple. Now that I've shown you how to do that, I'm going to back it all back out of there. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to wind a bobbin. Start out, bring it over here, bring it back here, through this loop, loop here. Trying to stay out of the picture, but I don't know if I can. You bring it through that loop, and you have a loop here on the top. And then clip it in behind that. Clip it in behind the bobbin. I happen to have that in the wrong position. It's right in front of it, so it's going to make it difficult for me to do just because I'm filming it. See how I've got it in there. <clears throat> okay, you loosen your clutch so everything else isn't turning. You put that where you can where your rubber tire makes contact. You see how she's winding there? Just enough. <clears throat> That's all they are to it. It's real simple. I'm getting where I really like these shuttle and long bottoms a lot better than I do the little round ones. After working with them just a little bit, I was kind of intimidated 
at first with them because they're just different. You know, that thread I think is kind of old. It's kind of dusty. I don't know if I'm going to like that or not. Anyway, next uh, I'll show you how to thread your bobbin or your your uh, your shuttle. How to hook it up. thread this just to show you how it's done. You can see that thread has been on there a long time. So it's going to make it harder than it normally is. It's usually very simple unless you're fighting with 20 year old thread. You bring it off around where it's coming around in front of you over to the right you see there's a slot coming right down through there you drop your bobbin in you bring your thread down through that slot and it'll click in right here you gotta hold your bobbin and then once you get it clicked in there, yep, I didn't do it. Once you get it to clip in there, then you bring it straight back up. I'm not getting cooperation here. Just wanting to run back up. Oh, I did get it. I did get it, I just can't see that well. There it is. I don't know how well you can see it. But you bring it down through the slot <clears throat> and you hold on top of your bobbin so it just won't spin easy. And right in here it kind of clicks in. And then you just bring it straight back up. And it's coming through that spring right there. Real simple. this is going to work out but I wanted to show you and this model it's got the little button that raises up so you can get a hold of your shuttle Let me make sure that my needles all the way up it is I'd already made a video on this once and it I was holding the camera and it came out terrible so you're flat <clears throat> you go right in and clip it right in the tip there to drop this in place drops in right like that you have to make sure you got it exposed there and I just set it out I bring my plate in and leave a gap in my plate. Okay. And you got your your needle thread here. What you do is you, you bring it down like that. And you see how easy that is? Pulled your bobbin thread right up for you. That comes up through your needle hole. And then put that towards the back. Bring this down through your your foot and bring it towards the back. And you're ready to sew.
Well, this machine makes beautiful stitches. I haven't adjusted the length of the stitches. I haven't tried that. That's, I don't know if you can see it in the camera or not, but that adjustment is, is right under the bobbin winder. I think this thread is kind of old. It's a little on the dusty side and it's kind of curled. See how it's curling up from being on the spool. And when I leave it threaded like that, I like to put that presser foot down so it'll hold that stuff in place. That's the threads that she did. This would make a mighty fine quilting machine. Okay, let's see what she'll do. We're all threaded up, got our tails back. We're dropped in place. And I forgot to plug it in. That do help. Okay, I think we're ready. Let's see what she'll do. Yeah, better go that way. You can tell I'm no seamstress. Mm, let me see. Let's go crossways and see what we come up with. Try that. needle up, press her foot up, I think our needle's up, yep, pull her over here and see what we got, uh, not bad at all, I don't know how well the camera's going to pick that up, but those are some mighty fine looking stitches. Especially in light of me not being a seamstress. That's probably the, the first sewing this machine has done in 20 years, too. Well, that really looks good. She's doing a good job for an old gal. Yep. I like it. <laughs>